evening Viva MK. Thank you for joining me at six o'clock on Friday on the 17th of May 2019. Uh, I just picked up this um, other personal development book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. There's a lot of words in there. It's another great book that many people appreciate and have read over the years. I'd say it is a great book. But you know, when it comes to personal development, like I've always said, find your reason why, because having a reason why is the key to the kingdom. When you have a reason why, it gives you every reason and need that you need to chase what you want and work on that every single day. So personal development is valuable in our industry, it's valuable in our business, it's something I really only learned about in our industry, however, Fundamentally, if you don't have a reason why, nothing is ever, ever going to happen. So good evening. This is not a request show, but but as Andrea Lane asked me to say happy birthday to her, happy birthday, Andrea Lane. I hope you're having a great day. Now, the title of today's um, live, you notice I might have put there, is Victories, Defeats and Gratitude. And the reason I wanted to say that was, you know, every single waking day, as MD of this company or in life in general, one of the things every single waking day I prepare for is victories. In other words, to aim towards victories. In other words, to aim for successful things to happen and victories and the plans behind them, you know, the keys to the kingdom, having a reason why. I have to prepare for defeats because with so much going on, there are going to be defeats and you have to accept that there are going to be defeats, but not just accept them lying down, but accept them in a way that you have to deal with them. So victories, defeats, and every single day, gratitude for what, what I have in this business, what we have collectively in this business, what we've done in such a short period of time that many people could not have managed unless it was this, this group of people and the collective way that we did it. I always like talking to you at six o'clock on a Friday because it always reminds me of when we launched this concept and this idea. It's not even been a year since we did that, since I had that first idea and that launch. So it's always great to speak to you at this time of day. So I appreciate you joining me at a rather awkward, you know, Friday evening. But victories, defeats and gratitude. Every waking day I have to prepare for them. And let me tell you something, you know, it's like the garden catalogue, garden, outdoor and so much more. You've had the PDF and email. If you haven't seen it, um, go and look at your email inbox and you'll see that the email and the text message relating to that arrived just not so long ago. Now, that's three weeks late. You know, I promised you that catalog at the end of April, but you know, it's a victory that we have it out now or it's about to come out and you'll get ordering details for that on Monday. But the defeat has been that it wasn't at the time that I wanted. Now, I could have easily bowed down and been upset about that, but no, you can't be. You have to keep working at it. You know, if it was late, that wasn't intentional. Things go wrong. You know, designs went wrong. Suppliers pulled out. We lost a print slot. When it comes to printing huge publications and, you know, thousands, hundreds and thousands of copies of a catalogue, if you lose your print slot, slot, like losing a flying slot, you have to fit in when they can fit in again because it's such a large quantity. So three weeks late, no, I'm not happy with that. Of course not. But we finally got it. So there will be victories every single day. Victories we can all celebrate. You know, Brian and Michelle Hewitt, thank you for sharing that information with me today. You know, one customer order over a thousand pounds. Now, okay, that doesn't happen every day and it doesn't happen with every customer. I wish it did and so do you. But that is a massive victory for this business that isn't even a year old. One distributorship, an order well over a thousand pounds from one single customer. You know, that was even a rarity in Clean Easy to be able to do that, that in one single order, that there's over a thousand pounds of order, um, products ordered. So much so that I do recall the story, um, this only happened this week, that Michelle went back to the customer to confirm that it really was a true order. So, that to me is a huge victory. Yes, the catalog's late, that's a huge defeat, but it's out there, 
So I'm grateful for the fact that we've actually got it out there. So the team did a, a, a tremendous job and you've done a tremendous job in your patience. So that will be fully available next week. Make sure you're all acquainted, you're all acquainted with it uh, when you look at the PDF. Make sure you know all about it, all acquainted with it. And let me tell you some of the victories within that catalog itself. It's 64 pages long. You know it's got shared earth products because I've actually been sharing those with you in the last few weeks. Um, and those products aren't just all about the environment, but they have stories behind them. They're about families and communities, you know, things that are warm about the products. And I'm hoping that our customers will buy into that concept. Now, if you read, read us some of it, you know, it, it attributes money to many different communities and the shared earth principle it is something that we really want to concentrate on, you know, and there's lots of products in the catalog um, that, that are shared earth. Then there's eco-friendly products, and we've been talking about those for quite a while, trying to do not only our piece for the environment, to, but to show that we are willing to try things that are new. Um, you'll notice some products have recycled plastic. Now, let's not confuse that with recyclable. You see, lots of plastic has the word recyclable on it. Plastic is fairly hard to actually recycle, but it's still, still good to have recyclable plastic. But if you have recycled, that means it's already gone through the waste process. You've already done far much more than just having recyclable. So that is another huge step for us to have products in there that not only talk about the planet, but actually are already recycled. So you'll see that in the book as well. Um, so although it was a defeat to be late. There's victories within it. And there'll be victories next week when you get those out to your customers. And I'm hoping that we get a great response for that. Not just, just because it's shared earth, but the fact that it's colourful. You know, we're still in the middle of some, uh, some of us are in the middle of some kind of heat wave as well. And when it's just before summer happens. So, yeah, so there's, there's victories in there. Um, commissions and calculations. You know, today we finally emailed everybody. Now that's nine days later than it should have been. Am I happy with that? No, no, that to me is a defeat. It's a victory we got it done because it's all been a manual process like I told you for the last two weeks. Did I want it to be late? Absolutely not. Who wants to be late? You know, who wants to give a deadline or have a written deadline, then go past it? You know, I don't deliberately want to look like a plonker. The reason sometimes things go wrong is because no matter what you're doing, there's, you have to be prepared for defeat. So that was a defeat, nine days late, but every distributorship in our business today has now got an email that shows them their new status and their payment calculation, all done manually with a calculator. Now it's not acceptable, it's not acceptable to be late, but you know, and I'm not making excuses for it, it's a defeat, simple as that, I got defeated but it's a victory that it's finally out. So victories, defeats, and gratitude. Gratitude for your patience in some of these things. Gratitude for the patience that the catalog is late. Put a gratitude in your patience that the challenges that have happened. But ultimately, we live in victorious times because you know what we have created is still a victory, um, no matter which way you look at it. Um, you know, we've already started working on the next production. I won't just give you dates for that yet, but I've always said that the Christmas catalogue itself, no matter what productions happen between now and then, will always be at the showcase on the 31st of August. You'll get a first visual of that. And in my humble opinion, that showcase really is going to be a showstopper for many, many, many reasons. You know, it will be a launch of a new era. It'll be launch of a new season. And everything about it will show the world that, okay, we're only just about a year old, but we're here to mean business. Um, some of you have had speculative emails, speculative messages and this is not a negative but I just need to talk about these things because you've been asking me the question and when I mean speculative emails and speculative messages I mean people are trying to poach you <laughs> from other networks it's a common thing in this industry it really is I guess if you've got someone sniffing around your inbox you've really got to ask yourself if the business they're talking about is that awesome and that brilliant 
why are they sniffing around your inbox? Not that you're not sniffable, but why not go to the open world and talk about their business? Why not bring in people from out there? There's, there's millions of people out there that could join their business. Why hone in into your inbox and sniff around? So I guess it's not new. It's happened before for 20 years, 22 years I've been in this industry. There's always been speculative emails, speculative messages, otherwise known as poaching, otherwise known from other um, companies. But always ask yourself, you know, if your business is that good, why are you going and talking to people in another company? Now, my rule for that's been quite strict. I don't want anybody in this business to stoop to that kind of level. You should never, ever have to deliberately go to somebody else that you damn well know works another business and another industry and try and get them into yours. It's just not worth it. It's not what we do. The reputation is appalling for companies that preach that and do that. So please, 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 let's never ever stoop to that level. Even if you do get a speculative email or speculative text message telling you all kinds of things to try and get you into the business. As I said, you got somebody sniffing around your inbox, ask yourself why uh, they're not just talking to the open world. What is so wrong with their business that they just can't tell the world how brilliant they are? Why come to you? Anyway, there's enough about that. That's not a negative. It's just one of those things. And I felt it necessary to talk about that today because one of you, one or two of you have had those speculative messages. It's nothing new. I was dealing with this, you know, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 10 years ago. And it's just... It's just something that happens in this industry. The less versed people or the less intelligent people generally go into other networks to try and get people rather than sell what they're trying to what the promote what they've got out into the open world. It is the way of the weak. It is the way of the uneducated. Let's please never, ever fall prey to that. I don't want that reputation in our business. Let the others have that, not us. So victories, defeats and gratitude. There's going to be many more victories ahead of us. Of course there are. There's going to be victories when customers of yours, you know, appreciate the next catalogue that you'll, as I say, you'll have next week. We'll give you ordering details on Monday. There will be defeats because there'll be customers who don't want it. There'll be customers who tell you to bugger off. They never want to see you again. There will be defeats. But do you give up at that moment? Well, I can't really speak for you. That's entirely up to you. But, you know, when I am faced with defeats and every waking day there is a defeat to be taken on board every day there's something that goes wrong every day whether it's a personal thing or a professional thing i can tell you i can't think far back enough to say there was a day without a victory or without a defeat but also there was not a single day when i didn't stand back for five seconds and be grateful for what we have and whatever has happened not just now not just in this business but historically forever that's always been the case no there's going to be victories no there's going to be defeats and then treat them equally and deal with them accordingly and that is another system of success that is probably in here somewhere but you don't have to read hundreds of books to realize that if you can take your victories on a daily basis take your defeats on a daily basis and treat them accordingly you know celebrate those and deal with those with the same gusto that you celebrate your victories you will be a success and you'll get through those days doesn't matter what it is whether it's personal problems or professional problems so have we got it perfect far far from it far from it you know have have i said and done the right things no far from it and i never will but i all i do know that anything that i do personally for this business is always done with the right intentions. Now, right intentions don't always build a business. What builds a business is dealing with things that happen on a daily basis, whether it's the victories or the defeats, but with not without that gratitude, because that is a staple of what we should celebrate daily. The gratitude for anything that's happening in your life, for anything that you have. Look, I don't need to preach that to you. It's just one of those days and weeks where 
uh, there's been plenty of victories, plenty of defeats, but never without being grateful. So as far as the business is concerned, next week should be very interesting as you get that catalog into your hands. Some of you see, actually seen it, that visited head office, and you really appreciated it and loved it. And in my humble opinion, it's just another landmark position in our business. Now, if you look over our business over the last 10 or 11 months, there's landmarks along the business, things that have happened that have been notable, Things like the New Beginnings Showcase, things like the Back to Basics catalogue, you know, things like the launch or the first catalogue. There's all these landmarks that constantly changed our business. And this catalogue will be another one of those that will, const that will change the business. You know, I don't see many catalogues with shared earth. I don't see many catalogues with recycled plastic. I don't see many... Uh, catalogues that have the range of products that are in there and when I mean range everything from your basic outdoors to everyday products so you know ahead of time one never knows how a catalogue is going to perform that's an impossibility I never learnt that in Clean Easy or any other catalogue business I have ever worked in the only way to do it is to try and forecast what you think might just sell. And then what you have to do is get it out there and see if it does. And if it does, fantastic. If it doesn't, then you've learned. You see, even with a defeat, it isn't really a defeat. You either win or you learn. And, you know, I guess a lot of our learning comes from things that don't go right. Because the things that go right, that's great, you know, but the things that don't go right is what you learn from. Again, so I can quite safely say it's been a week of learning and so it was a week before. And you know what? The following week will be another week of learning as well. So I don't really want to keep you too long. It is Friday evening and knowing the distributors that I know that are, I can see flashing there, you know, there's probably a glass of wine waiting somewhere. <laughs> so have a fantastic weekend. Thank you for your support on everything, through every victory, through every defeat. I am eternally grateful for everything and anything that you do in this business because I couldn't have done it without you. We couldn't have done it if we weren't a collective. You've helped us get us where we are. Yes, there's roadblocks. Yes, there's defeats. But every single time, it's how we deal with it. It won't always be victorious, but we won't always have defeats, but we'll always be gratitude. Thank you, everybody. Have a fun, wonderful weekend and I'll see you next week.